Following a planned overdose of Viagra in order to impress his girlfriend, a man gets his penis removed as a result. The 66-year-old from Gigante, Colombia, is claimed to have been a former politician at one point in his life. It was alleged that he had been suffering from an erection for a number of days. Doctors diagnosed him with inflammation and fractures and assigned him to a medical facility. According to medical professionals, he's currently recuperating in the hospital. A man from southern Colombia was forced to have his penis amputated after he allegedly overdosed on Viagra in an attempt to impress his fiancée, according to reports. Gigante Colombia resident, who's not been identified, admitted to a local newspaper that he deliberately overdosed on the medication for erectile dysfunction. He was 66 at the time of the incident. He is then alleged to have suffered with an erection for a number of days before being obliged to seek medical attention. Following the administration of this penis-enhancing medicine, the man, who's described as a farmer and a former politician, began to show signs of gangrene, according to the news website Columbia Reports. They informed the patient that the only choice available to him was amputation in order to prevent the inflammation and gangrene from spreading to other regions of the body. The patient had bruising on his testicles and penis, a doctor told the local newspaper La Nación, adding that the patient had been treated and was doing fine. In response to the occurrence, Nieva Hospital issued a warning to men, instructing them not to use penis-boosting pharmaceuticals or erectile dysfunction medications without first obtaining written permission from their doctors. This week, a Yemeni man died after taking an excessive amount of Viagra as he prepared to sleep with his bride on their first night together as a married pair. According to the Yemeni Arabic language daily newspaper Okaz al Yaum, the 25-year-old Yemeni man overdosed on five Viagra pills at one time which resulted in the death of the guy. After the reception had concluded, the unidentified man left to join his wife in their newly constructed home. His arrival was marked by fainting and collapsing. He died shortly after being transferred to the hospital, despite doctors' efforts to revive him. Viagra contains the active ingredient sildenafil citrate, which relaxes the muscles in the walls of blood vessels, resulting in increased blood flow. However, the effect that Viagra has on the nerve activity of the muscles of the penis may also result in an increase in sympathetic nerve activity, which is dangerous, which makes blood vessels constrict. Heart attacks, heart arrhythmias, and even deaths have been linked to the use of Viagra in men, according to a number of recent publications. Men with unstable cardiovascular condition, such as those who have had heart attacks in the past, are recommended against taking the medication. Also, in another case, man took 35 Viagra pills for laughs, got five-day erection. Withern C. resident Daniel Medford, age 36, had an erection lasting for more than four hours, according to the police. It'll take a long time. In an interview with the British tabloid The Sun, Medford, a plasterer by trade and a married father of two children, admitted to taking 35 pills of Viagra in an hour after drinking heavily with his buddies for two days. I just said I'd have one for a laugh when my friend brought them downstairs, and one turned into two, into three, and so on, Medford recalled in an interview with The Daily Beast. However, after pill number 35, the laughing was replaced by concern. After his vision turned green as a result of cyanopsia, a Viagra side effect, and he experienced what he described to the son as a massive erection that would not go away, Medford returned home to his wife, who immediately directed him to the hospital where he belonged, according to the newspaper. Undeterred, he remained in that spot for the following 36 hours, one hour for every year of his life that he was on the verge of losing. The Daily Beast reported that he admitted that his wife was a little pissed at him, which one would hope is an understatement. Medford was placed on bed rest following his discharge, but his penis refused to accompany him to bed. He had an erection for a total of five days. His account of the incident was published in The Sun, who said that it wasn't a constant erection, but it burst into life every time I brushed against something for five days, and it was completely useless to me. What a curious coincidence that his wife wasn't in the mood for sex after Medford nearly left her a widow and their children without a father in their lives. Don't be concerned, things are currently well at home. Fortunately, my wife has forgiven me, and I've come to recognize that I've been quite fortunate, Medford told the newspaper, The Sun. In order to convey the whole extent of Medford's money, two varies may not be enough to express it. Men who have overdosed on Viagra have met with far more tragic outcomes than he's experienced. Avoid reading the following statement while eating, but a 66-year-old Colombian man had to have his gangrenous penis removed after taking an excessive amount of Viagra in an attempt to impress his new lover. After downing an entire bottle of vodka to participate in a 12-hour orgy on the basis of a bet, a 28-year-old Russian man suffered a heart attack in 2009. He came out on top in the wager, and then he passed away.
Aside from these more sensationalized instances, overdoses of Viagra can cause a variety of cardiovascular symptoms, including chest pain, fainting, irregular heartbeat, low blood pressure, heart attack, and in rare situations, death, among other things. If you take too much Viagra or combine it with nitrates, which are medications used to treat chest discomfort, your blood pressure may drop dangerously. Sildenafil citrate, the generic name for Viagra, works by relaxing blood arteries. There is also the much-dreaded four-hour erection to be concerned about, or as it is known in the medical profession, priapism to be concerned about. The failure to treat priapism in a timely manner may result in erectile dysfunction or permanent loss of function. To put it another way, taking too much Viagra at the same time can exacerbate the precise condition that the drug was designed to address. Medforth told the Daily Beast that he was able to walk away from his overdose episode with minor injuries. Was it ever painful to have a lengthy erection? No, absolutely not, he stated emphatically. Is it possible that he had other negative effects while in the hospital? Apart from stomach pains and a nasty headache for a few days, there were no side effects. Perhaps the most serious side effect was shame as he admitted to the son that his doctors and nurses warned him off and the paramedics were trying not to laugh. When asked if he regrets his decision in light of what could have happened to him, he responded affirmatively to the Daily Beast, saying, Of course I regret my decision. At the time, I believed it was a joke and didn't consider the ramifications of my actions. It's possible that erection drugs will kill you. The nation's drug safety watchdog, the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, declared the three leading erection medications safe, but are they really? That's not the case. According to a recent research of erection medication adverse effects between 1998, the year Viagra was licensed, and 2007, Viagra was linked to at least 1,824 deaths, the majority of which were caused by heart attacks. Cialis, approved in 2003, has been related to 236 deaths, while Levitra, approved in 2003, has been linked to 121 deaths. In addition, at least 2,500 non-fatal heart attacks and other potentially serious heart problems as well as more than 25,000 other potentially serious side effects, including mini strokes, vision loss, and hearing loss, appear to have been caused or significantly contributed to by the three medications. So, how did the FDA get to the conclusion that they're safe? What can guys do to safeguard themselves? What's the definition of safe? The FDA requires manufacturers to submit safety studies that identify negative effects before approving new pharmaceuticals. The research on erection drugs were encouraging Nothing worse than modest rates of minor annoyances. Headache, 10 to 15 percent, depending on the drug and dose. 4 to 10 percent of people have stomach trouble. Flushing, 2 percent to 11 percent. 2 to 6 percent of people suffer from back pain. 2 to 4 percent suffer navel congestion. Blurred vision, 2 to 3 percent. Symptoms of the flu, 2 to 3 percent. However, the dirty little secret of FDA-approved safety studies is that subject pools are limited to a few thousand people. If a medicine kills one person out of every 150,000, the negative effect is unlikely to be discovered during pre-approval testing. However, if the medicine becomes popular and is used by millions, you can expect dozens of funerals. With greater use after approval, new side effects appear on a regular basis. As a result, the FDA requires manufacturers to extend the side effects and warnings portion of their package inserts for half of new pharmacals within five years following approval. The official list of adverse effects for erection drugs has been revised multiple times when new negative effects have been discovered. Nitrate Nightmare is a nightmare about nitrates. The bodies began to fall in 1998, just after Viagra's debut sparked a worldwide stampede. It was discovered that using Viagra with nitrate medications, most notably nitroglycerin for angina, caused a fast, perhaps catastrophic drop in blood pressure. Angina is a type of heart disease caused by insufficient blood flow through the heart's arteries, comparable to erectile dysfunction ED, which is frequently caused by insufficient blood flow through the penis's arteries. Doctors consider erection loss to be a probable early indication of heart disease since the processes that produce these two disorders are so similar. The bottom line, millions of people who took nitroglycerin for angina also had ED and tried Viagra. The FDA instructed doctors to stop giving Viagra to anyone on nitrate medicines after several hundred deaths. Doctors quickly modified the practices. The number of people who died as a result of using Viagra dropped dramatically. The story then vanished from the front pages. However, erection medicines continued to produce issues and several users died as a result. That's why a recent study from Ohio State University is so significant. The researchers obtained the FDA's entire library of adverse event reports for erection drugs through the Freedom of Information Act, 
10 years, 26,451 reports. That's 220 reports per month, and the picture isn't pretty. The continual stream of major cardiovascular events and mortality is particularly concerning. I hasten to add that with over 5 million men in the United States using erection medicines, the risk of significant side effects or death is quite low. It's on the order of 0.006%, or 6 in 100,000, according to study authors, even though 220 reports every month is a bit much. The FDA, on the other hand, does not compel erection medicine adverse event reporting. Thus, the 26,451 reports were reportedly voluntary by doctors and loved ones, generally in cases that were odd enough for someone to think, this is strange. Perhaps the FDA should be informed. As a result, only a small percentage of significant adverse effects are reported to the FDA. If a man with a history of heart disease has a heart attack, his wife or girlfriend may not even be aware that he's been taking an erection pill, and even if they discover a bottle in his medicine cabinet, how many of them would make the connection and contact the FDA? As a result, the number of significant adverse effects and deaths is likely to be higher than reported.